What's up Pisces? This is gonna be your love forecast for the first two weeks of February. That's February 1st through till the 15th. This is for my Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you wanna keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. Let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, first two weeks of February. Any love messages for Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, first two weeks of February. What can you tell my Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus is coming in for them in the area of love, first two weeks of February. Eight of Swords, Judgment card, Two of Wands. Two of Cups and the Moon. Okay, Pisces, you're showing up as the Moon here. There's a lack of clarity here about a situation. It's like you're at a crossroads of Two of Wands. You know a decision needs to be made or someone needs to make a decision about you or you're just not sure on the path forward, okay? With the Judgment card, Decisions, it's also awakening. So I feel like the blindfold has been on Pisces, but it's almost like it's coming off now. You're gonna get clarity and it's like the call, like a decision needs to be made here. Um, with the moon, things have been very murky. You could have been dealing with a particular connection um, where you feel like you don't have all the facts as an element of secrecy. Um, tell me about this two of wands. Yeah, the two of pentacles in the reverse. You could have been weighing up options, Pisces, because or it felt like you were being sort of juggled or you were an option here. I feel like now you're at this two of wands um, because you're like, it's time to kind of move forward. The wheel of destiny is calling you to um, make a decision, right? It's, it's calling you to move um, Six of Pentacles because there's a situation, Pisces, where you were maybe over-investing and not getting the return. Um, Six of Pentacles is like breadcrumbing energy, okay? Tell me a bit about this um, Eight of Swords. Yeah, Four of Pentacles, you've been holding on to this situation, Pisces, but then also feeling very stuck and bound and feeling like it's not moving forward. And also in a self-imposed imprisonment of the mind, Eight of Swords, it's like you keep going round and round about this, maybe because you haven't had all the facts. Um, you had no certainty around it. You had no certainty about what was the purpose of it or where it was going, um, that kind of energy. Yeah, we've got Four of Swords, exactly. Things have been at a rest state. You could be taking a break from this person or have taken time out. There's something here um, that you've been trying to heal as well, Pisces, between you and this person. Um, tell me about the Judgment card and the Six of Cups. Okay, so Pisces, there is a lot of memories of this person or you, you think about them quite a lot or you're nostalgic about it. It's like maybe you have been thinking you wanna give this a second chance. Ace of Wands um, for a new beginning. Five of Cups because there's a lot of spilt cups and sadness between you and this person. I'm gonna get some cards, cross energies on this particular person. Um, but I do feel like Pisces, there's something that is gonna be revealed to you because judgment card is really about, you know, an awakening, okay? Um, the Fool and the Three of Wands. So this is about potentially taking that leap to move forward. Ace of Wands does mean that there could be a new beginning with this person and Six of Cups is reconciliation. However, Pisces, I do think that there's something here that would need to be rebalanced between the two of you. Um, in order to move ahead, okay? And I think you're having some kind of an awakening around this situation. Um, you know, I do think Pisces, you're looking a lot at things that haven't worked. Um, maybe this situation is just showing you maybe a pattern that you've experienced in the past as well. And your sort of judgment card is very much about lessons and learnings, okay? So we do have that with the Six of Cups. So I think that there's a lot of reflecting going on for of Swords. Um, where you're sort of the blindfolds coming off and you're starting to have a realization about certain patterns and things that you don't want to continue with. Um, yeah, but let's get more on this particular person. Um, I do feel like there is this passion between you and potential for maybe a reconciliation, but let's get some clarity here. You also could just be planning to now move forward and jump onto something new Pisces because that Two of Wands, it is about choices and decisions. It is duality and maybe you have been a bit trapped and stuck with one situation um, and then now you have something new coming in. You know, Maybe you've been stuck between the past, Six of Cups, and a new beginning and a new opportunity. Um, that's almost what I'm getting more so for you guys because the full card is really about taking that leap into the unknown 
and three of wands is expansion okay so looking to the future so let me have a look um this person that pisces been stuck on what are their feelings and intentions towards pisces now in the first two weeks of february okay there's a knight of wands there's a six, guy six of pentacles again um and the justice card okay um, Ten of Wands and the King of Pentacles. All right, so this person, they're heavily burdened. Um, when it comes to you, perhaps they're also burdened in the sense that it's difficult for them to come forward and give you King of Pentacles and give you something very solid. This person also could be, this is a small portion of you, in an outside commitment. King of Pentacles is my sort of committed king, but there's burdens connected to it. Um, maybe that's also why things can't move forward. Eight of Swords over here. Um, Anyway, so that's for some of you. The truth of the matter is, Pisces, this person has passion for you, but they're Knight of Wands energy. So maybe they swoop in, they swoop out. And the Six of Pentacles has come out again with the Justice card. So this is like breadcrumbing energy. Um, there's something, you know, sort of out of balance about this situation. The Justice card, again, yeah, marriage and divorce card. So maybe you're dealing with a person that that's a factor okay and for others of you this is all about you know someone that is maybe not giving you something reciprocal um definitely passion but i feel like this person's so weighed down with whatever they're dealing with um that it's difficult for them to come forward and really give you what you really want which is relationship two of cards i think this person does feel a strong soul connection with you chariot card so they may want to move towards you some of you, they're going to be moving towards you. They want to come and see you, but they're in this Knight of Wands energy um, because Hierophant and Queen of Swords. Okay, so the Queen of Swords is a, as a the Queen of Swords is the card about truth and honesty. The Hierophant card is about commitments, traditional values, etc. Now, Pisces, this couldn't be, this could be another Queen in the mix for those of you for whom that applies, where this person may be in some other connection or commitment. Could be an air sign. Queen, all right otherwise um this is all about truth and honesty when it comes to to commitment so i do feel like pisces you know if you do want to um let this person swoop back in there is a need for just truth and a conversation about balance and reciprocity and you know chariot card is like the card of perseverance and steering things in the right direction so their intentions are to move towards you however um just be discerning queen of swords are very discerning so if that's not someone else that's your energy it's like be discerning about what you truly want what you value okay because three of swords is here so this person might be carrying around some heartbreak um if you have separated from this person i do feel like it, it does hurt them um they're also again three of swords might be another party involved here otherwise this person it's like they're carrying a lot of burdens that make it very difficult for them to give you the reciprocity that you um, are looking for okay just one more yeah judgment card okay so i do feel like this person judgment card may want to come in and get another go okay maybe they are starting to wake up a little bit too to what's going on but again you'll need to assess the energy as it comes in and i think that there's a call for honesty um and your values need to really align and that's going to be different for each of you guys i can't call it for every single one of you um, let me get you guys some romance angels. Okay, past life relationship, you've known each other before. So there is that soul connection. Um, there also might be some karmic lessons that are wrapped up in this situation too, which can make things a little difficult and confusing heart to heart conversations. I've said this a few times, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So this is about being true to you as well and what you want. I'm gonna take the top one first. You deserve love, you are lovable. Um, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations bring you together. Well, I think this is where you're at now, Pisces, because the Fool and the Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands here, it's like, I feel like you are calling in a new soul connection because you're ready to take that leap and jump onto something um, that's more aligned with what you want and more reciprocal, okay? Um, finances and career, your fin financial issues are a factor in your love life. Yeah, I do feel with that King of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, this person also could be really weighed down financially. Or maybe they have ties to someone else financially, guys, if there's a third party situation um, or they're just overly focused on their finances or on money. That can be that King of Pentacles energy. Um, maybe they bury themselves in work <clears throat> because they have um, some issues when it comes to commitments and, and relationships and whatnot. Um, okay, Pisces. All right. I hope that that resonated for you. 
And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I will check in with you in two weeks' time. Lots of love.